Hello, everybody. What you know? You're watching Walk In and Talking with Phoenix. Ooh, yeah. And today we're going to be talking about professional wrestling. But in all serialness, as an aspiring professional wrestler, one of the most insulting things that anyone can say, and they do say all the time, is that wrestling is fake. And that's pretty much it. Wrestling is fake. It's phony. It's gay. It's not a real spot. Yeah, it's not a real spot. That's why they changed the name from being sp sports to sports entertainment. It's still a little bit of a sport because it is very physically competitive and people get pushed up the ranks and earn more money based on how well they can perform a spectacle and keep people entertained. So there is still an element of competition. It's still physical and hence it's still kind of sportsy but it's also more entertainment based and that's why it's called sports entertainment. You know what I mean? And this is what annoys me. Like People look at pro wrestling and they think, you know, back in Hulk Hogan days, guys slapping their own hands, you know, hitting their own hands and really over the top fake, dressed up as colorful good guys and bad dark guys, you know, dark bad guys. And it really, it's not even, it's not even that cliche anymore. I mean, sometimes it is, but wrestling has come a long way as an art form and as a form of entertainment and sport combined. And really, I think it deserves a lot more respect and it, it's, there's no other industry like it. Hence why it profits more than any other sports industry or music company. A music company, sports company, it's the biggest granddaddy of them all. WrestleMania sells out more tickets than any other performance by anyone else. WWE, on top of the ladder of sports and entertainment, for a reason. So, why do I believe that they deserve a lot more respect than is given? Let me explain it to you briefly. Basically, a lot of people think, oh, wrestling is just fake. The matches are predetermined. It's all scripted. It doesn't really require skill or effort. Bow, bow. Let me debunk that. It actually requires at least six years training, or maybe it's three years, whatever. It requires a lot of training and a reputation, even to be looked at by the WWE. If you're accepted in the ranks, it means you have a chance. It doesn't mean you're going to be sticking around. You could be a great wrestler, right? You could be good at pulling the moves. You can work well with people and partnership and teamwork. You can cooperate with people and, and just provide good chemistry with people and have good matches that are entertaining to watch. You know, spectacular. Uh, you can be a good actor. You know, you can sell your moves. Uh, you can make things look painful and make it look believable, yeah? And you can be a good talker, um, you know, on the microphone, which is basically where they're, they're telling the story, because there's always a storyline with wrestling. That's where telling the story comes in, you know, you, your ability to, to narrate what's going on and to trash talk, basically. And it's not always a typical, like, I'm going to kick your ass trash talk. It is a lot of the time. But there are superstars, CM Punk, Phil Brooks, one of them who stand out and really bring back a real raw and creative element when it comes to the storytelling in pro wrestling. So you, you can be good at two of those things. Let's say you're a good wrestler, you're a good actor, but you can't talk, talk, good, talk, can't talk good on the microphone. That's ironic. <laughs> then that means you probably won't really make it as a top tier guy to the main event cards. You won't be winning the belts, and if you do, you won't be keeping them for long. Why? Because you need to be able to ace in all three categories of acting, talking, and wrestling in order to really woo over the audience, keep them captivated, in order to really produce those green figures and, and keep the business giving you the push, giving you more opportunities and giving you, you know, whatever you deserve. You need to work hard for it. You know, and that, that's, there's been cases where there have been great wrestlers like Rob Van Dam, great wrestler, great actor, oh, good enough, a bit shabby, can't really talk too well on the mic, can't really hang with the, with the big guns. So he gets sent away every time, you know? And if you're not the right height, you know, it's a very competitive, very physically demanding, and people say it requires no skill, hogwash. It requires more skill than acting, it requires more skill than sport, and it requires more skill than commentating 
because it combines all these three things together into one art form and you've got to be able to trump all of them you hear what I'm saying? and the other thing when they say that it's fake that the movies are fake, it's all scripted, it's not really real predetermined what do you think movies are? when you go and you watch, I don't know, Transformers or The Matrix when you see those bullets whizzing past Keanu Reeves you think that's real? All that, those fighting scenes and all the fire out moves, you think that's actually happening? I don't think so. Pretty sure that that is one step further than how wrestling is fake. Because I'm pretty sure that shit is special effects, editing, and stunt doubles. People don't go to a movie and be going, oh, oh, this is Spike. Oh, that, that fight scene between the Incredible Hulk and Iron Man, that was bullshit. That's all CGI, I'm out of here. People don't say that. They enjoy the movie for what it is. They can't do the same with wrestling though, can they? Even though the wrestlers, they don't have stunt doubles or special effects, CGI. They are the stunt doubles. And people like The Undertaker that are in this company for over 20, 25 years. You know what I'm saying? People that spend over 10 years, 15 years wrestling. And this is always a life on the road, away from your family, away from your kids. You know, it's a lot of hard work and it's training practically every day and flying in and flying out the only time you really get to rest and recover from your previous match matches is on your flights or your or your bus rides you know so it's a, it demands a lot of time a lot of energy and commitment and willpower and these people stick it out for years you know what i'm saying stick it out for years it's like a movie but it's a live movie in sequential episodes, it stretches on and on, and storylines overlap each other. In the histories where the characters end up coalescing in the future to form new plots. It's a lot more complex than any movie. complex in any movie the characters have a lot more time to evolve their concept design and really there's no stunt doubles it is raw it is genuine sure it's scripted sure you know spots in the match are predetermined the beginning the middle and the end and how things are going to end up how pe who's going to win who's going to lose you know they know in advance sometimes who's going to be fighting at a pay-per-view four weeks away you know what i mean and they set things up to get to that point doesn't mean it's fake, doesn't mean that when someone's flipping off a you know, 20 foot high or off a ladder or off a fucking titan tron through a table onto concrete or whatever, doesn't mean that's actually not happening. That is happening. The amount of shit, if you actually watched instead of just going and thinking of Hulk Hogan punching his own hand or watching wrestling blooper videos and saying, oh look at these dickheads, they can't do shit or bullshit. If you actually watched some shows, some good shows, some good matches. You see the bumps that these guys take and the weapon shots and just falling that amount of time at times, taking that many bumps years in, years out. It, it's got to take a toll on you and it does. These people have the worst case of arthritis, ligament damage, broken necks, broken bones. People have been paralyzed. People have been killed in professional wrestling. All right, it doesn't really sound very fake, and there's only so much bumps that you can take. And that's the reason why it's scripted and choreographed to an extent. It's because it is more entertaining to watch. I personally, I like watching UFC. I can learn from mixed martial arts and real fighting. But it doesn't turn me on like it does a lot of people. Violence doesn't turn me on. I'm no sadist. I enjoy theater, though. I enjoy good story. I enjoy extreme characters, you know, and interesting interactions. And that's what professional wrestling is. It's a way, and as, as, you know, as an amateur psychologist, I guess, I have an interest in psychology, it's great to watch. Because in WWE, you know, you're watching the, the cream of the crop, guys at the top, these are the sharks, and nothing less, who have fought, you know, tit for tat to get where they are. And they're trash talking each other, and a lot of real genuine stuff comes out when they're trash talking. There's a lot of actual heated history sometimes behind the storylines. And there's a lot more, you know, it's basically you get to see these very, and a lot of them have diplomas and shit, you know, really intelligent guys. You get to see them going at it tit for tat psychologically, physically, you know, and they're talking, and it's fascinating. Seeing all these different egos and characters being blown up 
and amplified to the mat because that's what WWE and professional re wrestling allows them to do. It gives them a platform to really shine the brightest and to the most extreme extent that their personality can allow. So that's why I believe it takes a lot of respect. Like you don't just go there and someone decides, oh, you lose this time, but next time you win and oh, you're going to get a belt next week. If you get a belt match or a main event match, it means you've earned it. It means you've either made the audience really love you as a face or really loathe you as a heel and boo the shit out of you. Either way, if you're a heel or a face, a good guy or a bad guy, it's your job to make the audience react accordingly. The better you do that, the better you get paid, the better matches you get, eventually you get belt matches. CM Punk, this, you know, I'm very un uncharacteristic wrestler. He's not as big as the other fellas. Six foot, but not as bulky. Doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't do drugs, doesn't even eat meat. So no steroids. It's hard to put on bulk mass when you don't eat meat. This guy wrestled for six years and no one respected him. Each time he got to the top and he got very, uh, got a belt here and he got a belt there. He didn't hold it for long. One time they actually arranged to have, have the belt be given to someone else in a match that he didn't compete in. Because he got knocked out just beforehand. Knocked out. You know, and he was just kind of showing this disrespect and he didn't get the recognition he really deserved. And after six years of persevering against the odds and against the authority and all these people that said he wasn't cut out for the business, he ended up getting the title and holding it for 434 days. This is a lot longer than some people can hold their jobs over in America. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much the longest reigning champion and the record breaker in the last 25 years in the modern era of professional wrestling, the longest reigning champion. And anyone that really is into wrestling and gets it, it gets why these people deserve, these athletes deserve so much respect. They will see that it's a grueling business, very competitive, it demands a lot, and you don't get there easily. Even if it's all scripted, behind the scenes the politics are wild, and you've got to, you've got to go tit for tat, for real and for show, in order to get to the top. And if you're at the top, you deserve respect. It's like CM Punk deserves respect. And yeah, that's why it annoys the fuck out of me when people say that kind of shit. I'm going to my work thing now, so I gotta go. There's my, there's my homies. I'll catch you guys later. I've, I've got so much to say on this, it's never gonna end, so I'll, I'll tackle it later. Maybe I'll show you some shit about how fake professional wrestling is, yeah? Yeah. I'll lay the smack down with them, you candy ass. You like that, won't you?